Hello guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, the roadmap for Sprocket has been updated and there is a lot of exciting stuff here. For example, mod support, you know, geometric interiors. You have also machine gun, autoloaders, autocannons that you can design in the designer. But uh, this is for next year as you can see, but you know, the roadmap is there. But uh, as you can see also, where is it? Uh, there's something that I really liked. There, 2025, small scale multiplayer. So definitely Sprock is gonna have multiplayer, which is really nice. But uh, I also only want to show you the new experimental patch that we have. But uh, I'll go to inside Sprocket and uh, show you that. So here we are in uh, Sprocket and as you can see the tracks are pretty much transparent and that is a new feature. It will allow you to work on the hull while you know not touching the uh, tracks. And as you might uh, have seen some of my old videos, I will always like uh, move the tracks away before I, you know, I start uh, working on the hull. So now I can, you know, have the tracks there and I can uh, change and move the hull how I like without, you know, uh, touching the uh, tracks. And they will actually appear when you go to mobility or uh, other things. And another feature that they have added is we, we can now put uh, Amorex inside the turret neck which is quite nice uh, let's see blocked by turret basket so i need to push it down and as you can see i can put the shells there i can also put them in a carousel uh you know area here so yeah you can you have more space basically for your uh, for your amorek now and we have also some new muzzles i'm actually gonna remove you sir there you go so we have the panzer 2 uh mantle i mean i said muzzle there it is that looks very weird on the panzer 4 can i see this at the same time and yeah you can make a panzer 2 now which is really nice very specific mantle though yeah don't uh, expect this to be used on many many things and uh, this mantle though, on the other hand, this is the T-34-76 mantle and you can actually make a lot of things with this one. You can sort of make a KV-2 mantle as well and there's some other tanks that also use this uh, mantle which is, you know, pretty good. But now we can make a proper uh, T-34-76 uh, with this mantle which is uh, really nice. Uh, we have some extra features here and I'm actually gonna load my other tank there you go because this thing needs some extra love and this extra love has been added with, uh, with this new uh, experimental patch so let me check where it is viewports so we have some uh, new cupolas here I'm not sure for which tank they are have this one. This is very World War II. Sure, which cupolas are these? This is World War One, though. Definitely, it looks like something from French tank. Yeah, uh, we have this one. They are like I don't even know. They're kind of like uh, stuff that you can hang. I'm sure, why it's not uh, hanging there? Uh, uh, no. Go. Right here, right here. So it kind of looks like that. We might have to push it down. But yeah, I mean, these are something that you hang stuff on. And I might actually replace all of these now because this is what it's supposed to have uh, this tank. And as you can see, I have something here that's a log. But that should be a, a tarp, basically. And they have actually added the tarp. And there it is. This is the new tarp. So basically, I can just do this now. Now it looks like a proper American tank. 
Let me make it a bit smaller actually. There you go. Uh, I think we have new logs as well. Oh no, this is tarp as well, yeah. Okay, so we have some tarps as well here. Uh, I'm just gonna move these then. Okay, let's put them here like this. I might have to stretch this a little bit, let's see. No, 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 stay here. Okay, can I stretch you? Uh, not really, but I can, can maybe copy it. No, I can probably copy it. Set another one here. Like so. Look at that. That just transformed my tank. Because I needed those two things on this tank. And uh, let's see. We have we have more stuff, guys. We have... I think we have something from a Churchill. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's some sort of... Yeah, applique armor. Flick plates. Hmm, I'm not sure. So we have new hooks. Really great, because these hooks, they look great for some tanks, but uh, for example, for this American tank, you need a bit more beefier hooks. For example, like these. You can see there, they look uh, a lot more beefy. Uh, let's try this one. This one is not bad, actually. Yeah, I might have to fix that later on. But yeah, they, they look really great. You have, uh, you have many of them. Also have this this one, which looks like a... Kind of like a tow hook. You also have handles. Handlebars like this. Put a couple of them somewhere. Look at that, looks so good. Looks great. Well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and like. And uh, next week, I'm definitely going to build a Panzer II. Because, well, I have the mentor for the Panzer II, so why not? So we're going to build a Panzer II next week. Don't miss it out. Bye, and uh, thank you for watching.